Okay, let's uh, begin with our speaking test for today. My name is Ashlyn Verma. May I know your full name, please? Yes, my full name is Mehak Bhatia. Okay, how may I address you? You may address me by my first name, Mehak. All right, Mehak. Where are you from? I am from Palampur, which is in the district Kangra, situated in Himachal Pradesh. Okay. Do you work or study? Well, at current time, I pursue my IELTS classes from OCS Academy for my higher education in abroad. Okay, and which job do you prefer to do in the future? Well, my future plannings go to abroad. So, uh, when I complete my master's, so after that, I want to make my career in teaching profession. Why teaching? Uh, because I really love this profession and I really love to teach those students who are unprivileged. Okay. Uh, so let's begin with the part one now. Uh, here I would be asking you some general questions. Let's talk about your routine first. Okay. Do you usually do the same things in the morning? No, I do not usually do same things in the morning. I uh, continuously change my routine on daily basis. Like um, some days I go to parks for walk, whereas I also go to gym for doing some kind of exercise. Do you think breakfast is important? Yes, I really think breakfast is very important because when we uh, do breakfast so we keep healthy and fit, we also refresh our mind. Do you want to change your daily routine in the future? Yes, when I complete my master's degree, so uh, I really complete, uh, I will complete my things or routine because um, at the time I become more punctual I will become more punctual and let's change the topic okay. from here and uh, let's talk about sports do you like to watch sports on TV no I do not like to or watch sports on TV even I do not like playing sports why not uh, because I'm not interested in this field uh, I do not interact with sports okay and which is the popular sport in India currently well according to me cricket is more popular sport in India which are played by a lot of people children or famous cricketers which sport do you did you used to play in your childhood well when I was in my childhood so at that time I usually played a hide and seek with my cousins or with my friends in school and home Okay. Who is your favorite sports star? Oh, well, my favorite sports star is Virat Kohli uh, because he is such a go good cricketer play player as well as he is a kind-hearted person and he belongs from a noble family. I really love him a lot. What kind of sports would you like to try in the future now? Uh, could you repeat this question please? Yes. What kind of sports would you like to try in the future? Oh, well, in future, I really uh, want to try sports like badminton uh, as well as kho kho because these both sports are my favorite sports and I will uh, try in these sports in future. May I ask why? Uh, because when I was in my childhood, so I got uh, a medal in these sports sports so that's why i think that uh, i have a little bit interest in these sports so i would like to try in this sports in future okay all right mag now <coughs> we will jump ahead to the part two of the conversation in this i'm going to give you a topic onto which you need to talk for one to two minutes okay. but before you talk you will be getting one minute for your preparation in which you can make some notes here is your paper and pencil to make some notes and your topic for today is to describe a place <coughs> where you like to study. It can be either indoor or outdoor. This is your topic. You have a minute. All right, Mac. Your one minute for preparation ends now. <coughs> you have two minutes to talk. I'll let you know when your time is over. You may okay. start. Well, as we know that study plays a vital role in every individual's life. Now, I would like to talk about that particular place which I really like for my studies. So that is my room. Well, 
I get up early in the morning and I mostly do studies in the morning. And I always prefer to study in my room because it is very comfortable for me. And in uh, my room, I uh, I am the only one person who study, and I am um, alone for study. There is no disturbance and no another kind of things which really distract me from my studies. So whenever I have a leisure time, so at that time I always prefer to study in my room. Like I do my school homework, as well as I uh, do some writings, uh, readings, which helps to enhance my knowledge, as well as my communication skills, reading skills. So uh, I also make beautiful thoughts on the paper, which I, uh, which I. which i put in my room walls and i also make a time table on the paper and paste on my room wall uh, for remembering me about my homework or my study and uh, i am so connected with my room for my studies as well as for my another kind of things uh i all i also use my room for my uh, relaxing and for my refreshing uh, my brain you my room is a very important thing for me because it helps me a lot in many ways uh, in many ways and i really love my all right room. Mahak, that would be enough okay. can i take this back yes sir thank you very much okay this back as well thank you thank you so uh we will jump ahead to the part 3 of the conversation now i have some follow up questions related to the topic you just spoke uh could you tell me what are some popular subjects that university students study in india well it really depends on the ability of student or uh, like most of the students wants to study art subject whereas others wants to study commerce or uh, science subject for example when student jump to the uh, plus one standards so at them at the time student choose their stream uh, like arts commerce or science so when they complete their senior secondary examination after that they also take a subject related to their stream in universities do you think that university education should be free for students no i don't think so that university education should be free for students because if universities education system become free so uh, all students take uh, their studies very easily and they do not pay their attention relate uh, about their studies and they can distract with their studies because they do not affair about their school fees or university fees have you seen such kind of scenario anywhere in your life uh yes uh yes for example if we take a scenario of government and a uh, private universities mm -hmm. so in government universities most of the children uh, become uh, become more uh, become more and more criminal uh, uh, because they do not pay their attention in their studies whereas if we talk about private uh, university student so okay. they always uh, All right, let's uh, change attention. the question. Uh, do you think students from all majors should study subjects like mathematics and history? Oh, could you repeat this question, please? Yes. Do you think students from all majors, means from all different kind of courses, should study subjects like mathematics and history? No, I do not think all students should sub, uh, study subject like mathematics and history. It is not important to study these both subject. Uh, it really depends on the ability and interest of the student what they want to study or what they want to um you devote their time um, in subjects how technology has brought benefits to the way students prepare for their exams could you repeat this question please yes how technology has brought benefits to the way students prepare for their exams now well uh, in this contemporary era technology is increasing day by day so technology uh, helps in many ways like at current time most of the people uh, attend online classes 
from their uh, through their cell phones or the computer by different kind of tutors in available in the google google meet by the juice learning app and another kind of app so i think so that technology is very important and helpful for the children or for the those students who really become to make their career in this study field how the use of technology in the classrooms will bring more benefits to teachers and students well technol as i mentioned earlier technology is increasing day by day so technology gives a lot of benefits to students and children like uh, it uh, for example on the uh, on the epidemic of corona uh, most of the teachers Uh, most of the teachers established uh, online lectures in which students uh, in which students in which students learn a lot of things from the online lectures and they can easily clear their doubts from their tutors by uh, video calls from uh, through whatsapp and the through another apps all right mag this is the end of your speaking test for today thank you very much for your time My name is Ashlyn Verma. May I know your full name, please? My full name is Chahat Dhawan, and you may address me with my first name, Chahat. Chahat, right? What's the meaning of your name? Well, it has a lot of meanings, but the main meaning of my name is desire. Do you like your name? Yes, of course. I like my name a lot. <laughs> All right, Chahat. Uh, so, in the part one of the speaking, I'll be asking you some general questions, right? So, try to answer it your best. Let's start with firstly with the advertisements. Are there many advertisements in your country? Well, there are a lot of advertisements in our country as it is a developing country. So, they influence or introduce many different products for advertisements. Do you think there are so many advertisements now? Yes, because I as I said earlier that it is a developing country. Okay. So, yes, of course, there are a lot of products to be influenced and Are you happy with country. so many advertisements? Well, maybe yes maybe not because sometimes when there are pop up ads on our social media apps or different uh, places as such it doesn't looks nice to be seen or to be noticed to be noticing them what are the various places where we see advertisements although on the holdings on the road or on the highways and such as uh, g- digital gadgets such as our television and uh, mobile such and mobile phones and all the social media apps and out of all these advertisements what kind of advertisement do you like the most well the most like the advertisement by me is cosmetics because i really use a lot of cosmetics in my daily use and i am very like kind of attractive towards that my next question is uh What do you think are the purposes of advertising? As I said earlier, it is a developing country, so many people literally used to introduce many different products for our sake and our knowledge. So that's why people usually shares a lot of products to to be hold in their marketing area and to be indulge in the competition level. Okay. Uh, Let's talk about magazines and newspapers now. Which magazine and newspaper do you read? Although in our country there are many different magazines and newspapers introduced as magazines are just introduced once a week and newspapers are always and are all the days products as I literally you read magazines such as related to health, skin and our body structure. and newspapers help us in knowing the knowledge of uh, our surroundings okay what kind of articles are you most interested in although there are different articles and um, subjects over these given magazines and newspapers i literally like to read about health because it conveys many different knowledge about uh, us have you ever read a newspaper or a magazine in a foreign language Well, I literally read newspaper daily with a cup of tea in my garden, and also it helps me to know about the surroundings, and it conveys all the important views about 
the different countries. Okay. This is the end of the part one. We will now jump ahead to the part two of the conversation. In this part, I'm going to give you a topic onto which you need to talk for one to two minutes. You will get one minute to think about what you're going to say and you can make some notes in this time. You can use this paper and pencil to make some notes and your topic is to describe a restaurant that you enjoyed going to. This is your topic. You have a minute to prepare. talk yes all right so before you start talking let me remind you you need to talk on this topic for one to two minutes and I'll let you know when your time is over you may start now although there are many different restaurants in our locality I usually prefer going to fast food restaurants in our locality and all the restaurants are influenced and have authentic food in it as I literally want to, I literally used to go in fast food restaurants. There is a name of that restaurant fast food in our locality and it has all the authentic Asian food and all the staff of that uh, whole restaurant is very polite and have the ability to judge other and are very sincerely managed. All the scenarios in the restaurants are very well prepared and the management of that restaurants is very well done and however i usually eat different varieties of the food in that restaurant as it is a fast food restaurant so it conveys all the different and various numerous kind of fast food foods in it and i usually enjoy a lot while going there and Twice a week I usually go there as it is my very favorite place of my own locality. Thank you. Okay. Can I have this back? Yes, sir. Are you sure you don't want to add anything else to this? No, sir. Ah. I have some follow-up questions related to restaurants that I want to ask you for your part three. Why do you think people go to restaurants when they want to celebrate something? Though people usually go to restaurants because because they does not want to manage all the things in their home or locality because they can't gather a lot of people in their houses for celebrations and later on they usually have so much tiredness in them to uh, to clean all that stuff in their houses so okay. that's why which are more popular in your country fast food restaurants or traditional restaurants However, it is basically based on the age group as it matters like nowadays it matters a lot because every age group has different taste and their flair, flavors as the children usually like to have fast foods and adulthood usually like the traditional foods and in our locality there are very different restaurants for all the age groups. But which one is more popular? For me, it may be fast foods, the more. Okay. Some people say that food in an expensive restaurant is always better than food in a cheap one. Well, What's your take on this? Okay. Well, it is not a very great notion or a very correct notion because all the, it is dependent on the seasonal foods or the authentication and the management. As uh, all the as nowadays all the street foods are also very well prepared and managed in the in their all in their whole scenarios and also they provide a very disease free foods and also they apply all the things which is being present in a very hi fi restaurants. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's talk about food availability now. Do you think there will be a greater choice of food available in shops in the future, or will there be less choice? Well, from my point of view, there will be a lot of more varieties in the shops and many people will li likely to go to there because as such in nowadays also there are many different varieties from different countries which are being influenced in our own countries as such the Korean noodles which are being introduced nowadays in our country also. So in future also there will be many different and numerous varieties which are being introduced in markets. What effects has modern technology had on the way the food is produced? Although it is a very like uh, similar thing as 
in previous time the people usually have to do the hard work with their own hands in the field as it the fields or the crops was grown with the help of, of animals and the man made itself but nowadays due to the technology modern technology mm-hmm. all the student all the farmers usually use the modern technology in the fields also so they may not so th- this is the main re- reason of using the modern technology <laughs> in the fields okay uh, my final question for today's test is how important is it for a country to be able to grow all the food it needs without importing any from other countries excuse me please repeat the question again how important it is for a country to be able to grow all the food it needs without importing from any other countries although importing foods from different countries can influence more in our own country so it is a very great task to do and many different products are being influenced from from our country such as haldi such as turmeric and different main course main courses items and so this is very great to import the different products from here to there right chah this is the end of your speaking test this is all i would want to ask you today my name is ashton verma and i'm your speaking examiner for today may i know your full name please my full name is mukti gulia you can also address me as mukti all right mukti uh for the part one of the speaking i have few questions about education and learning first uh do you enjoy studying yes i love to study um i mostly spend my time in studying and i love to study in natural environment for example i went to park or in the library to study What subjects did you like the most in your school? Uh, well, I love to study accountancy and business because I'm very fond of business administration. I love to make ledger accounts and personal statement accounts. Okay. Do you prefer learning alone or with your friends or classmates? Uh, well, it depends. I prefer to uh, learn or uh, learn statistics or economics in my alone time, and I prefer to uh, do my accountancy part with my friends. because they know more than me so i love to know more things about that subject how do you keep yourself motivated to learn something new um i prefer watching a virtual way of it and uh, how that uh, part of it will uh, give me benefit in my rea- reality world and uh, how this thing will uh, make my future more easier okay Uh, I would like to change the topic from here and let's talk about food and nutrition for now. What is your favorite type of food? Well, I love Indian cuisine as well as Korean cuisine because I'm very fond of Korean culture and Indian is our culture so I love Indian food as well. Do you enjoy cooking? Oh, uh, well it depends because I love to know more and more dishes so uh, I usually make it by myself instead of going somewhere else or getting it on order or getting it from delivery how often do you eat out um well i eat after two months because i am very not fond of uh, eating outside because i know those those things will harm my body only and it doesn't provide that much healthiness instead of eating at that thing only at home mm-hmm. Do you think people's eating habits have changed over the past years? Oh, uh, well, yes, because um, uh, in past decades, people usually like to eat at home and made those things at home only. But nowadays, uh, people like to get order that thing in just a ten minutes, uh, not instead of eating at their home, and it will definitely harm their body. Uh, moreover, people uh, get more obesity as well as their cholesterol level is also increased due to that. Okay, now I would like to ask you a few questions about social media and technology. Do you use social media often? Oh uh, well, yes, I use uh, most of my uh, time I spend in social media because nowadays I'm free and uh, I get to learn from it and I, I entertain myself from it also. What do you like most about social media? Um, well, nowadays trends are going on. People are making things more hyping and. um dancing culture is also growing because of it and also they're uh, spending charitable things also and they're creating social awareness so i love about that thing about social media do you think social media has changed the way we communicate 
Oh uh, yes. In past years, people usually like to text or uh, get a call, but nowadays people just like to send their snaps that they are here or they are spending their time on this location, and they just make some vlogs and uh, post it on Instagram or Snapchat and. Uh, also, YouTube generation is also growing on. People also spend their time more on YouTube instead of getting on Facebook. Okay. This is the end of your part one. Now we will begin with a part two of the conversation. In this part, I'm going to give you a topic onto which you need to talk for one to two minutes. You'll be given one minute to think about what you're going to say and you can make some notes. And this time to help you to talk. Here's your pen and pencil to make some notes. Your topic for today is to describe a time when you hold someone, this is your topic. You have one minute to prepare on this and your time begins now. All right, Mukti, your one minute for preparation ends. You have two minutes to talk on this topic and I'll stop you when your time is over. You may start now. Um, well, there are a lot of people in my life who I have helped, but today I will uh, like to talk about my friend named Rhythm and we have been friends from since seventh grade. Uh, and uh, uh, we have seen every part of our life together even if it's a good time or bad time and uh, I have seen a lot of things going on in our life and uh, we have uh, even take the same stream, commerce stream in our 11th and 12th grade and in 12th grade it's known as board class in our India and uh, we have shared same stream so in that part uh, few weeks she has taken some holidays due to her illness she was uh, caused from a dengue and uh, she has taken uh, a lot of holidays due to that and her whole syllabus work was like upside down because of that and she did she was not able to solve those things and problems which she was having and uh, her syllabus was also getting more and more delayed and paper was getting more um, near and uh, um, I helped her in her weekends and in winter holidays also by going on her home and we were sharing time with more and more and I helped her in balance sheet also in asset and level trees also and economics part also I helped in making graphs how to um, show that income graph or an uh, expenses graph and how to make those graph and uh, after that uh, she was able to do her exam more nicely and she got a very uh, good grade in her economics exam as well in accountancy and she has scored in top five in her board exam. All right, Muthi, I would like to stop you now. Your time Thank is you. Over. Can I have this? Uh, you have sure. Thank you very much. Uh, all right, uh, let's jump to the part three of the conversation where I would like to follow up this conversation. Let's first of all discuss about helping others and volunteering. Why do you think people help others? Um, to show their generosity and to show their kindness towards others and it helps uh, to create more gratitude environment in our society. Do you think helping others make a difference in society? Oh well yes, because if one person will do, definitely other person will see it and they will get to know and they will learn it and they will definitely took action according to that thing and they will create more and more awareness in, uh, in our social life. Do people in country participate in volunteering activities? Yes, because nowadays in government has also created some schemes as well as schools are also taking volunteer campaigns and rallies to make more and more social awareness and help every part of our life and every part of our environment. Can you give share some examples? Yes, sure. Well, I was in my grade 10, uh, there was my school and they created a rally to uh, show a campaign that how we can help poor people, for example, um, below poverty line people, how we can help them, giving them our donation and uh, giving them uh, uh, equal treatment towards them. We should not feel that they are coming from a different uh, caste or they are from a different um, society. We should treat them equally and give them equal chances in every part of our life. Okay. To further carry on this conversation, I would like to discuss with you about social responsibility now. Do you think so, uh, schools should teach children to help others? Yes. Schools should create more and more awareness and 
they should take more and more campaigns and they should uh, give also social education to the student that we should not take this thing more lightly we should every uh, create a part of awareness in our life as well as in our social how important is it for companies to be involved in social responsibility initiatives um uh, well i've seen there is a company in korea and they have created a campaign in there and uh, to help more and more people and in that campaign they help giving donation and they also provide this scholarship so we should also take actions like that only in our india we company should create more and more scholarship to poor people also should governments play a role in encouraging people to help others sorry Shall I repeat? Yes. Should governments play a role in encouraging people to help others? Uh, well, yes. Government should create more and more schemes and scholarship for poor people, and they should also create instead of uh, creating schemes, they should also create some social education to students in school uh, that we are we are all equal. In they say that they are equal, but they don't treat them equally. They should treat them equally instead of saying it. Right. Okay. Uh, finally, I would like to consider the topic of modern communication and social media. Do you think social media has made it easier or harder for people to help others? Uh, well, it depends because there are more fraudulent things and all going on in our social media. Uh -huh. Scams are also going on. They are saying that they will give don donation to the poor people, but they are making fraud things and they are scamming people around it. And uh, it also helps people to create more donation because through social media we can share things in a global level. So it helps people to create more donations. Uh -huh. All right. This is all I would like to ask you for today. This is the end of your speaking testimony. Thank you.